So now that we showed you how to set up and unpack and get everything you need out of your Z FZ17 coalescer, as of right now, we filled up the barrel with coolant, ju just enough so that everything is covered and this perforated plate is covered on the inside. Now, we'll install the parts bag and show you how to set all that up and get the unit to run. So, first thing I'm gonna set up is, is your tea strainer. Inside of here, these are color-coded. This is a flow restrictor. So it's gonna restrict the flow down, the blue is an eighth of an inch, the green restrictor is a quarter inch, and orange is wide open. So you can choose how you want the flow to flow into the barrel. So you always wanna follow your arrow. You're gonna put this in here like so. Make sure this is tight. And then this is gonna go on the inside of the barrel here. Following the arrow, you're gonna put this nipple into where the adductor port is. So if you look up here, this is your adductor. T-strainer is gonna go here. So we'll insert this. And you wanna snug it and make sure everything is watertight. On the hose that is included in your Z17 parts bag, you have your fittings here. So what we're gonna do now is, is we're gonna disconnect the fittings. And then your kit should come with two fittings. It's your option whether to use the straight or the angle. We're gonna use the angle for today. So what you're gonna do is, is this is gonna go here into the T-strainer. Back to your hose. You're gonna disassemble your hose. Notice the two clips at the end. That's to keep your fittings watertight. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna connect one end to your T-strainer fitting. And then you're gonna take pliers and squeeze this together and bring it up to keep that water tight. Now, your next part is, is your pump. This is your Z17 parts bag pump. This is what you're receiving when you buy the kit. So basically what we're gonna do right now is, the hose that goes to the T-strainer, you're gonna to connect to your pump, this port. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And as you did on this clip, you're gonna do the same to the pump. Like such. Make sure to keep all your extra fittings aside. The next thing we're gonna install is, is the hammerhead. This is your intake. This is one of our standard options. We offer three options, which is the hammerhead, the sumster, and the floating sumster. Today we're gonna install the hammerhead option. So you're gonna wanna take it out of the bag. In the bag, you're gonna receive your intake hose and the actual hammerhead itself. The large half-inch MPT fitting will go into the back of the hammerhead, and you only want to get a couple threads on there, enough so that it's it's loose and can flow side to side. This fitting, the 3/8 MPT, goes into the top of the pump like such. That's how you install your pump, hammerhead, and T-strainer to the barrel. So our next step is, we're gonna be installing this into your CNC sump. So you're gonna to wanna to take the pump and the hammerhead. This is the top of your hammerhead. And you're gonna take it 
and you're gonna drop it right down inside the sump. Like such. Now, for adjusting the hammerhead, you could see that it's submerged beneath the coolant. You don't want that. So we're gonna adjust it by moving this back. Now you can see you have a little air pocket. You're gonna need to adjust this as your sump varies from height. So we can actually go, you want it about half level on the hole. So about halfway up this. And again, make sure that this is somewhat loose. Next, we're gonna attach the discharge hose for the Z17. You're gonna install this. It's best to have an open area. That way you can swing this around. Discharge go hose goes in here to this fitting. And then you just screw it in. Next, we're gonna install the magnet and hook up the drain with the magnet to the machine to drain back into the sump. This is the Z17 magnet for the discharge hose. You should have one of these in each of your kit. Loosen it like such and remove it. Set that aside for now. Now you're gonna wanna position your barrel so that way it works good to drain right into here. So in this case, this is fine. You want a downward slope on the discharge. You don't ever want the hose to be higher than this fitting. Otherwise it won't drain. So now that that's there, we'll put the magnet right here. And then stick it to the side wall like such. Now your Z17 is fully hooked up and ready to power on. So at this point, we're gonna plug the unit in. And everything should start to fill up. You should see cooling in the line, cooling through the filter and everything should be flowing in the center cartridge. The coolant with the bad oil flows in through here, into the pump, up the hose, and it goes into the strainer, through the eductor, into the way oil uh, discharge. And then you'll have bits of dirty coolant in here that get sucked up through the eductor. And then that is the clean coolant discharge, which will discharge only clean coolant back into the sump. So now we're going to adjust the oil weir and the eductor on your Z17 coalescer. So for this, you're gonna to want to loosen it counterclockwise all the way until you see the weir itself come out of the coolant. Right about there. Now, this is the point at which when the oil builds up, it's gonna skim that top layer of oil right out to the drain spout, which we will demonstrate for you in a minute. This is the eductor. This is what inhales all the bad gunk on the top of the coolant. And you adjust this. You want it about halfway on the flat. There's a flat right here. And you want it about halfway. And 
And as you can see, it's intaking all the little bits and chunks, which I can demonstrate. As you can see, it's all gonna flow into there. So now we're gonna demonstrate how to drain the bad oil out of your unit. Make sure you have a bucket or container for this demonstration purposes, we're gonna use this little container. What you wanna do is, is go underneath the faucet and then this is your release valve. So when you release this, the whey oil is gonna get sucked out through the drain spout and into this bad container. Good to go. So now we're gonna demonstrate on how to remove the hammerhead and change it to the reset. So you first, you wanna unplug the unit, let everything drain back into the, the sump. Then what you wanna do is, is disconnect the, the hammerhead and now attach your reset. Now we're going to insert this back into the sump. There we go. Now we're going to plug the unit in. And everything should start to go back up into the unit again. And now we're getting discharged. And what's happening is this flap is only gonna allow the bad oil to float over the top. And then this screen will catch any gunk. So to demonstrate, once the oil gets heavy, it's gonna push on that door and then get flowed over and get sucked up into the barrel. After everything is installed on your Z17 Coalescer, you want to put your top back on to cover and keep this concealed. And that's your Z17 Coalescer.